Well, that's okay, Ludwig. We have 1,837 words, plus minus a few here to help you out. Welcome to FL Studio 20.9. This update focuses on giving you more workflow improvements, core feature updates and new effects than you possibly expected. So, as is tradition, we'll start with new effects. Pitch Shifter is a real-time pitch shifting effect with two pitch shifting algorithms including a range of creative controls to satisfy the sound designer in you. Pitch Shifter combines two algorithms best suited for voice for monophonic signals. Are you ready? 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 ready and music for polyphonic signals. Voice mode uses an algorithm specifically designed for processing human voices. If we ought to make a change If we ought to make a change If something doesn't seem to pitch correctly, try accurate pitch detection mode. You get easy control of pitch and formant via the XY pad. Make a change. For chipmunk effects, turn down the formant correction knob. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Music mode uses a more traditional granular pitch shifting method. Here, the XY pad controls pitch and grain duration. The random and jitter controls introduce small pitch and timing variations in the grains to make the shifting artifacts less or more obvious. Both modes feature a delay that can have the pitch shifter inside the feedback path so every repetition gets progressively more pitch shifted. You can use it in absolute mode to automatically tune sounds to a desired pitch. Or you can use music mode for shimmer reverbs. You could also turn on the built-in delay, crank the feedback to maximum and delay time to minimum and get your own personal R2-D2 that way. Vintage Chorus is a chorus inspired by and modeled after the Roland Juno 6's Bucket Brigade Delay Chorus. This chorus is well known for its warm analog sound. Due to the popularity of the sound, many hardware and software companies have offered clones of this chorus. Vintage Chorus goes further, however, by offering more than the traditional Chorus 1, 2 and 1 plus 2 modes. You can also freely define delay times, LFO speed, LFO waveforms, polarity of wet signal and more. Add this effect to any material for instant satisfaction. Patcher. We have added a minimap to aid navigation when zoomed in. Turn it on and off in the menu or press M on your keyboard. 
position it in any of the four corners of the map with the numbers 1 to 4 in the number row on your keyboard or simply click and drag it with the mouse. You can make a zoom snapshot by holding control and right clicking and dragging a box around the zoom area. This will zoom into that section of the map. After that, double clicking empty map space will switch between views. Middle click and drag now pans the view, replacing the plugin picker. Use F8 or the toolbar for that. Hold Alt when dropping a plugin preset to create an unconnected module. Plugins added from the menu are now placed at the mouse click location. In Control Surface, there's a new user sizable grid for controlled snapping. This is much easier to use. FL Studio Mobile has been updated to version 3.6.19, featuring a cool new reverb and improved stability across the board. New Time There are new shift markers. Shift markers are a new addition to New Time's audio warping tools. While groove markers are designed for audio quantization and swing effects, the new shift markers have a more creative focus. Shown in blue, the shift knob allows groups of shift markers to be moved in unison and time stretch the sample data in a positive or negative direction up to one bar. This makes them a highly versatile tool for sound design, creative effects and retiming the rhythms of sample loops. For example, Hold on, this can't be right. This says sound font player. What is this? Sound font player. It's back. New 64-bit and macOS compatible sound font player plugin that replaces Fruity Sound Font Player. Great care was taken to ensure cross-compatibility with old presets. Frequency Shifter has new visualizations. You can display the input over the output spectrum and an oscilloscope. Click the visualization to change it. Layer channels have received a new sequential playback mode, round robin style. you can now save VST preset files for VST3 plugins. In Sampler Channels and Audio Clips, select the new Stretch Pro mode for real-time form and control or form and correction. That's all the plugin news, let's move on to workflow updates. Playlist. The playlist has undergone substantial changes. Playlist tracks are now selectable, and all playlist track header actions can be performed on multiple selections at the same time. For example, select all playlist tracks, right click one of them, and then select auto name clips for instant gratification. Dropping presets on multi-selected playlist tracks 
we'll add an instance of the plugin to all selected tracks. On audio and instrument tracks, effects can also be added in the same way to all linked mixer tracks. Merge Clips now works for all selected clip types, audio, automation and patterns. Mixer and Recording. We've improved the recording location menu. External inputs only means audio is recorded directly from the audio interface. Recording level is under the control of the audio interface and can't be changed inside FL Studio. This is recommended. External and mixer input includes external inputs and audio from internally routed mixer tracks. Recordings are made from the point just prior to the mixer track effects. Post effects records at the bottom of the effects stack, so it includes the previous option. Post EQ, as the name suggests, includes the previous option and the track EQ. Post level and panning includes everything before it and level and panning controls of the mixer track. Post track includes post level and panning, but also now the mute controls. I don't know why you would ever choose to record an empty audio file after your effects, but now you can. There are new monitor options too, for tracks with external input. Off, when armed, and on. The default is set to when armed. This menu is also accessible from the playlist. You can now add on-track recording controls on playlist track headers. Go to the mixer, select a few tracks, right-click them, and assign to new audio track. Perfect. Now you can select an input in the playlist, set your monitoring, and arm for recording. Here's one everyone's been waiting for, cloning playlist tracks. From the track header menu, you can now clone playlist tracks, including all grouped subtracks. For instrument and audio tracks, this will also clone the mixer tracks, including effects and linked automation. We have greatly improved Undo. Most changes made in FL Studio itself can now be undone and redone. You can undo deleting playlist tracks, channels, effects, loading samples in a sampler, loading presets in a plugin, resetting the entire mixer to default, and much more. And there's sprinkles on top too. In the general settings, undo history, you can select alternate undo mode that steps through undo on control Z rather than alternates undo, redo. <sighs> Finally. The next big overhaul, automation clips. Double click an automation clip to open its brand new channel settings, including an automation editor and target link menu. Click here to open the plugin an automation clip is linked to, and here to see which control it's linked to. All envelope editors can now select multiple points using control, click and drag to draw a box. You can apply envelope tools to the multi-selection too. Shift and right click now adds nodes at the current value of the envelope. If snap is on in an envelope, use Alt Shift right click. More and more FL Studio plugins now support context aware values. 
right-click type in value windows are now context aware for 7 band EQ, beep map, blood overdrive, boo bass, delay 2, fast dist, FL keys, flangus, flex, fruit kick, granulizer, harmless, ogun, panomatic, stereo enhancer, wave shaper, XY controller, XYZ controller, fruity send, fruity squeeze and tuner. Add Hertz, dB, percent, etc. when typing in values to specify the format or use the handy selector in the dialog. On that note, channel pitch can now be entered in semitone values as well. Automation clips. For plugins that are already context aware, you can now use context aware type in values for automation clip editing. Event editor. When turning event automation into automation clips, our new conversion algorithm can use curved lines to more accurately represent the original event data with fewer control points. Apple Silicon support. We've improved legacy plugin compatibility by creating an Apple Silicon native process bridge that allows you to load Intel VST and AU plugins when in native Apple Silicon mode. Typing keyboard to piano. You can now choose from a wider octaves and root note selection. Did you know you can enter chords this way using step editing? Licensing and unlock. Once you log into FL Studio for the first time, you can now update your license to unlock new FL Studio features without entering your image line credentials every time. There's a persistent token now. Sixty-four bit wave files. FL Studio now supports huge samples when saving, loading and editing. This literally means you can record for hundreds of hours. Channel rack selectors. To select all visible channels, you now need to double click the channel rack selector. MIDI scripting. You can draw red rectangles around a set of mixer tracks to indicate what your controller is controlling, let the controller know how many presets are in a plugin, share note names with the controller, quick quantize start times from the controller, and many, many more things. See the MIDI scripting forum and documentation in the manual for a more extensive list. Closely related, FL Studio now sends a device identification message when new MIDI devices are detected. That is all the workflow stuff. Let's move on to the UI. Warnings. FL Studio shows a warning when trying to make a playlist selection unique and a lot of clips are selected. Are you sure? In the mixer, hint values for mixer send knobs now show decibel values. We have added grid contrast settings. Go to the playlist view menu and select grid contrast. You can make the grid lines narrow, default, or thick. Oh, and one more thing before we go. If you click on the Toolbars News panel, you now get a shiny extended news panel. You can right-click items to open them in the browser, or simply select and press Enter. And with that, we hope you'll love FL Studio 20.9 as much as we love your lifetime free updates. Don't forget to check out the video info for links to the new features and demo projects. We'll leave you with the new FL Studio 20.9 demo song, I'll Be Your Madonna by Lollivox and Lazina J.
Freedom